care for the visually impaired is easily recalled by the story of the blindfolded man making his way home. We assess patients for decreased visual acuity, the down arrow eye accuracy dart being thrown, which is done with a Snellen chart, the chart and target being held by Snail Ellen. It is also important to look at the status of the patient's corrective lenses, the broken glasses Ellen is evaluating. The eye guide dog is helping him home because we should use a sight-guided technique to help patients ambulate, and communication is paramount, the telephone communicating. This means verbalizing everything. The safe house depicts the consideration of having a safe, well-lit home environment, while the different colored medication bottles illustrate the importance of differentiating patient medications. You should use a clock technique with food on a plate to help patients know where their food is, the clock with food, and keep household items in the same place so that their activities of daily living are not hindered, the tools for daily living toolbox. So to recap, care for the visually impaired starts with assessing those with decreased visual acuity with a Snellen chart and reviewing the status of patients' corrective lenses. Nursing considerations include using the sight-guided technique, verbally communicating, maintaining a safe home environment, and educating about medication awareness. Use a clock technique for food and make the ADLs more attainable. You can recall the different ways of caring for the visually impaired with the blindfolded man trying to find his way home. He's a self-sufficient kind of guy, so he's not really one to admit when he needs help. But after throwing his eye dart at a target and completely missing, those who care for him can't really just leave him up to his own devices. Snail Ellen performs the test by holding up a Snellen chart for him to read and checks the status of his corrective lenses, only to find they're broken and don't really help anymore. For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our communications Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from care for the visually impaired, care for the hearing impaired, IAS bar, the five rights of delegation, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.